it's Jess from Marks and Motherhood. Today I'm going to be showing you guys the Carry Kit Lennox in black as well as using these gorgeous itsy ritzy packing cubes in this new floral fall print that they came out with with rose gold hardware and showing you how I have it packed up each week for church. So this is usually always the bag that I take and carry with me. It's not one that I have to lug around really the whole time because we're kind of sitting in between classes. So it's pretty packed full entertainment wise, but also not super cumbersome when I have to go back and forth. Now I'm going to show you everything inside and then I'm going to kind of tell you the pros and cons afterwards since I've owned this bag since May. I am currently 21 weeks pregnant with our fourth and last baby. It is a girl. I have a six year old boy, a four year old girl, and then an 18 month old son. So that's who I'm going to be packing for today. And yeah, let's take a look. All right guys, so these are the outside pockets of the Lennox that I'm gonna be showing you first. Right here in this outside bottle pocket, I have a slim water bottle from Target. These tend to leak, so I'm looking at other options. But I usually have one for me and then one for my kids on the other side. And then here in this pocket, I just have some Kleenex. And I think, yeah, that's it for that side. Then this side, I just have my makeup essentials inside of a small Jujube set piece. Not a ton of stuff, it's basically mascara, a little bit of foundation, and some chapstick and lip gloss, and then a little compact mirror. Just so if I don't have time, I know I at least have the essentials. I think I have a brow pencil, brow pencil and eyeliner in there as well. So, that's all for these pockets. Then here in this back zippered pocket, I have socks in case we go somewhere that socks are required. And I have a wet thing of Kleenex in case they need more than just the tissues. And that's all for this back pocket. Now, as far as the bag goes, you can see that it's pretty bulky with what I have packed inside. Usually it's a little less bulky once they eat up their snacks, which I'll show you in here. But overall, it's really not that heavy. So right here in this side is all their snacks, which is usually gone after the first hour when we're sitting. So I don't really have to carry the bag that long with that stuff. And then once this is empty, it's a little easier to maneuver things around and fit them better. So. I'm going to take this out, but it also goes with this book. I've showed it in a past video. My toddler just really likes to do it, and he really barely does it, but he enjoys it. So we have that and some yogurt bites in there. Then also here in the center, we have his favorite little fat brains dimple toy. He is obsessed with this. We have pretty much every version of this toy and he will play with it forever. Then I have this boogie board that my youngest will use because he doesn't really use the crowns and pencils that I'll show you next for my kids because he'll just chew on them. So he likes to take these off and color with them. I'm missing one. But my two older ones, this is all I pack for them activity wise. They are six and four, so they each get a play pack and some colored pencils. Sometimes I'll stick a notebook and some stickers in on this side for my oldest because he likes to independently draw his own stuff as opposed to coloring. But this is really all they need aside from a couple of snacks and they are pretty happy. Then my youngest is obsessed with books, so we always carry an extra book for him to look through and read. And then this is our snack bag for all of them. So I have this little cookie safe thing, but it fluctuates in price on Amazon and sometimes it's a little overpriced. I will try to link it down below, but just keep that in mind. So I have these Odie Fruity snack bars that we got for him. I used to use the Nutrigrain bars, but they make a huge mess. So those just work a lot better for him. Then I just have an apple and some Annie's Cheddar Bunnies for each of them. And they usually, like I said, eat that from the beginning and then there's a lot more space. And then the last thing we have is another Fat Brains toy. I usually only take this because he doesn't really need multiple ones of them. If I'm not taking other activities, I'll take more of these. But I like 
taking one of each because you can hook it up and then he can spin it and that's his favorite way to play with it. Sometimes he'll stick it on the back of the bench or whatever to play with it also but usually this is how he likes to play with it. Okay, so this is an activity I meant to throw on the top of my bag, but I'm going to show you it because it is one we take to church every week. As you can see, I don't have a drill hole piece set. I just kind of used a regular drill, and then shaved off the excess piece with a knife, and I got this container on clearance at Target for $1.74. It's $2.49 there now, and I will link it down below. But right now, my daughter is going to show you guys how it works. So you just press it in the hole, you fill it up all the way. She can twist it on and off the cap. When she's done to play with it, my 18 month old will just place the cap on and off and I'll twist it on after he's done. But all of my kids have loved it, even my six year old. We started using it when he was a toddler and it's been a favorite activity. All right guys, now for all the pockets. I'm gonna pull out our little diaper thing here. As you can see, it doesn't really snap shut and back like it's supposed to but when it's out it is a snap pocket closure and when I'm not using a pack for diapers and wipes I can usually just put diapers on one side wipes on the other side and it stays closed and secure now it can snap if I really need it to it's just usually it's kind of a struggle and you kind of have to force it but most of the time I just leave it unsnapped now my husband usually when we're out and about somewhere prefers to have all of our diapering stuff in a bag that I can just hand him instead of taking the whole diaper bag inside the bathroom. So this is the Itsy Ritzy large packing case and it has all of our diapering essentials for our 18 month old. I have three size 5 diapers, just the Kirtland and Huggies. Then I have our Orchid Hearts wipes case and I'm actually using a hack from Perpetual Mommy where I just put a travel um, Pampers wipes in here and then I opened it up and used it so I didn't have to open up another case of wipes or whatever else so as you can see from this side it's just a travel pack of wipes in a nice little pouch because you know it's almost impossible to reclose the travel one so this is a nice way to use it and refill this pouch so I have that in here, then I have a Gather Micro Plus changing mat, as well as some hand sanitizer and some diaper rash cream, which you know is still wrapped because we don't really use diaper rash cream anymore, but I like to keep it in our bag just in case. So that's that back pocket. Now here in these two pockets, I have an Itsy Ritzy wipes case which you're thinking I just had wipes in my diaper thing, but I like to have wipes accessible that's not in my diapering thing just so I don't have to open it up and mess with it. And this one's a lot easier to just grab out of my bag. I love this case. This is a full pack, hasn't even been opened. Pampers case that has 72 wipes and it fits really well and I just love the look of it. Obviously it's not totally essential. You have the little clips that you can clip to like your visor and stuff. I just took them off because I didn't need them. So I like that they're removable, but it's just a nice, you know, little fun accessory that obviously is not necessary, but fun to have. Then here in the pocket right next to it, I have my Thon charging clutch, which sometimes if this is all I take into the store, I also have this Dimple Duo on here. My 18 month old will be happy and content just playing with that. Then the last thing I have in here in one of these side bottle pockets, sometimes I'll stick a Pura bottle over in that bottle pocket, if you can see it, kind of there in the side. Alright, sometimes I'll stick a Pura bottle in this side bottle pocket for my 18 month old but most of the time we just do water and then on this side bottle pocket I have the small itsy ritzy piece and inside I just have nail clippers um, this contact solution just in case some band-aids neosporin just basic stuff we don't usually need it or use it but it's there just in case alright guys so that is all for the packing part of the bag hopefully that helped you guys kind of get an idea like I said you can kind of pack less and it's a lot less heavy and it works too I think it's an adorable handbag I love the hobo slouch to it I love all the accent pieces that are a part of this bag um, about a month ago my 
little tassel here came unglued and was kind of coming apart. And then this zipper, the threading kind of back here was coming apart. But literally in just a few days after I contacted Amber from The Sensible Mama, because I bought this from her shop, she made sure to get me one from Carry Kit right away. And this is the replacement bag. So great customer service on both their ends, I have to say. You know, it always changes depending what time of year and how busy things are, but she is always really good about customer service. So I applaud that. I had no issues as far as exchanging it and carrying out the warranty for this bag. Now, really, the only con that I have for this bag is that when you pack it, as much as you can, it can be a little bit heavy, but that's really with any bag. So I try to just be mindful of what I'm putting inside and not overpacking it just because it can fit so then it doesn't get too heavy because like I said, even putting a little bit, I love the slouch of this bag. Sometimes I'll just take it as a handbag for myself because it just looks cute and chic and um, classic kind of in the black and gold. Now the only other con that I have, and I've had this for a while and it still hasn't really resolved itself, is the zippers. Now I will say it got better on my other one after a while and this is the replacement bag, but as you see it can kind of be a little bit tricky to shut the zippers. They're not quite as smooth. You kind of have to play and mess with it a little bit for it not to get caught. And that's kind of the case on all of the zippers I've noticed. Even here on the top, sometimes I can struggle shutting it that time it worked, but sometimes it'll get caught right here in this corner. And I've never really had issues with this back one. So if I was to give any cons on this bag, really that would be it, it's just the zippers. But like I said, when you mess with them, you use them more, people tend to say that it works better when you hold this. I think you just kind of have to play with them to get them to work well but that is all for this bag I think it's a great classic beautiful soft leather bag that I have loved using I get tons of compliments on it and like I said I just love the look and the slouch and the feel of it and it's one that I'm pretty sure is gonna stay in my perma stash but you never know if you guys have any other questions just Comment down below and let me know. All right, and for those of you who did actually notice, the little spots that were over here by the Carry Kit logo wiped right off. It was an imperfections in the leather. I know most of you probably missed that, but just in case, I wanted to include it. And yeah, that is all. I will see you guys next time.